Many other sins. Remember that. Hi everyone, this is Kitsis Potter Hannah. What does covered mean? To covered means to want something selfishly without caring about what others think or feel. It is okay to want something, but it is not okay to want something so much that you think about it. When we think about what we want from someone else so much that we become super jealous of them, then it's wrong. So this commandment is simple. Don't be envious or jealous for what others may have that you want. Sometimes we 
we see some advertisements and they show us all these beautiful things that makes us want it so bad like a new toy or clothes or even a cool gadget ever felt that way what do we do about it if someone else has something we really want really badly how do we make sure that we don't break this commandment there will always be times where people have things we can't have and very often we don't even need the bible tells us a story of a man who wanted someone he couldn't have with very tragic consequences let's watch david was a man after god's own heart and he was a good king too he loved god and he tried to live and lead god's way one night david took a walk up to the roof of the palace where it was cool when he got there he looked over at another roof and noticed a woman the woman's name was bathsheba david said to his servant go and tell that woman to come to the palace when david saw bathsheba he thought she was very beautiful she is so lovely i want her to be mine but bathsheba already had a husband named uriah a soldier who served in king david's army this is a problem so david made a terrible choice i know i'll have uriah killed in battle and that's what david did soon david and bathsheba were married david had done a very bad thing he should have felt very badly about it but he didn't he was just glad he didn't get caught. No one will ever know. One day, Nathan came to David. Nathan was a prophet who heard from God. He told David a story. Once there were two men. One of them was rich with lots of sheep and cattle. The other man was very poor. All he had was one little lamb. He loved the little lamb so much, he made it his pet. It ate and even slept in the house like part of the family. One day, the rich man had a visitor who was very hungry, and even though the rich man had hundreds of sheep of his own, he decided to go and steal the little pet lamb from his neighbor's house to cook for the visitor's dinner. What that rich man did was so wrong. He should be punished. The rich man is you. God knows what you have done. You had everything, all of the riches of the kingdom, and Uriah was poor and only had his wife, who he loved very much. Still, you took his wife away, and you had him killed. God is going to punish you for this terrible, terrible thing. Bad things will happen in your family now. David suddenly realized how terrible he had been. He felt awful and was very sorry for all he had done. So he cried out to God from his heart, Lord, I'm so sorry. I know I have done things that are terrible in your sight. Will you forgive me? The Lord knew what was in David's heart. He did not just say he was sorry, he really was sorry. The Lord forgave David of his sin. When you can't have what you want, how does it make you feel? You are right, it makes you feel unthankful for the good things that you have. We have problems at times wishing we had things that belong to someone else. David experienced that too. David wanted what he could not have. He wanted Bathsheba so badly that he made a plan to get her husband killed in battle so that he could marry her. And he showed no regret or remorse, only relief he had not been caught. But God knew. Prophet Nathan brought David's sin out in the open. Coveting opens the door to jealousy because we are so focused on the things other people have that we forget the blessings God has given us. Coveting happens inside us. No one else see coveting happen. Like stealing or lying, it all happens inside. But God knows. Some things we can do to help us not covet. Let's look to Philippians chapter 4, verse 11 to 13. I am telling you this, but it is not because I need anything. I have learned to be satisfied with the things I have and with everything that happens. I know how to live when I am poor and I know how to live when I have plenty. I have learned the secret of being happy at any time in everything that happens. I have learned to be happy when I have enough to eat and when I do not have enough to eat. I have learned to be happy when I have all that I need. 
when I do not have the things I need, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In these verses, Paul tells us that no matter what, even in the hard times when he didn't have much, he knew how to be happy and grateful because he has Jesus to help him be strong. Let's ask God to help us realize today what things we are coveting and help us understand how to be more thankful for what we already have. So friends, our rule for life number 10 is to not covet. The memory verse we have for you today is Proverbs chapter 14 verse 13 Peace of mind means a healthy body But jealousy will not walk into your phone Let's pray Jesus, please remind me of all the good you gave me And help me be happy with what I have in, in Jesus name Amen sometimes feel that others have better things than others but I shall not continue to think about it because it steals away the joy that God wants to give me Day, 27 June 2021 Rule number 10 Do not cover I must always be thankful that God has given me God knows everything and being thankful is the best medicine for covetousness. Rules for Life Recap Let's see whether you remember all the commandments so far. Follow along! First commandment, I am the Lord your God. Second commandment, no other gods. Third commandment, respect God's name. Fourth commandment, have a day to rest and worship. Fifth commandment, respect your parents. Sixth commandment, no murder, no hate. Seventh commandment, keep your marriage promises. Eighth commandment, do not steal. Ninth commandment, do not lie. Tenth commandment, do not covet. Join us every Saturday at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. for Zoom Hangout and on Sundays at 4 p.m. for Zoom Play Day. Parents and children, remember to download this week's activity sheets on the website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to follow us on GTPJ Kids on Instagram. Have a great weekend ahead everyone! See you next week! Bye!